Hey, Andrew Morrison here with another Straw Bale Minute. I want to talk about hanging things on straw bale walls. Now, we've talked about this a little bit in the past, and that if you have a, a heavy picture or a tapestry or something like that that you want to hang on a straw bale wall, you can probably get away with using a molly screw or a concrete screw that will actually anchor behind the plaster or right into the plaster itself. Because it's an inch and a quarter plus thick, it's really strong, and it's going to be able to hold a lot of weight. So you don't have to worry about any special kind of... Uh, uh, backing materials like you would for upper cabinets, for example. You don't have to do any of that stuff to hang a large mirror or a large picture. Now, another another thing with straw bale walls, in terms of using the wall space uh, to to a neat uh, neat advantage, is to place kitchen cabinets inside the wall or specialty cabinets or uh, you know closets for linens or something like that. You can actually carve out into the bales or or stop the bales entirely, like we do with a wet wall around a shower, and put a frame wall behind it and then build your box right into that so that your cabinets end up flush with the face of the plaster. That's a really clean look and it stops any dust or anything like that from collecting on top of the uh, cabinets because they're built right into the wall. So that's something that uh, you need to obviously plan ahead for, but it, it's a beautiful feature if you can uh, find a way to do it um, appropriately uh, in either a kitchen or bathroom area or something like that. It, it's a really nice detail. Talk to you next week.